hello everyone welcome back to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this nice simplification math problem that is 18 to power 6 minus 18 to power 4 so here i will try to solve this problem without using a calculator so how can we solve this math problem here first of all we can write these two terms as this implies we can write 18 to power 6 as 18 to power 6 can be written as 3 times 2 which is 6 minus 18 to power 4 so we can write this 4 as 2 times 2 now here in these two terms we will use an exponential math property so here we will use this exponential math property r to power m times n which can also be written as r to power m all raised to power n so using this exponential math property here this equation will become this implies this will become 18 raised to power 3 whole square minus and this will become 18 square whole raised to power 2 now what we will do here here we will try to find the value of 18 square and 18 cube so therefore the value of 18 square is here we can write this 18 as 10 plus a whole square we will find this value using an algebraic identity a plus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times a b so this will become 10 square plus 8 square plus 2 times 10 times a let's find out these values so this will become here 10 square is 100 plus 8 square is 8 times 8 is 64 plus 2 times 10 is 20 and 20 times 8 is 8 times 0 is 0 and 8 times 2 is 16 so it is 160 now let us add these three numbers so this will become 0 plus 4 plus 0 is 4 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus 0 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried to this number 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 this will become 324 so the value of 18 square is 324 now we will find the value of 18 cube so again we can write this 18 cube as this can be written as 18 square times 18 raised to power 1 or simply 18 so here the value of 18 square is 324 so we will replace 18 square with 324 times and this 18 so we can write this 18 as 10 plus 8 here we will multiply this 324 first with 10 and then with 8 so let's multiply these numbers so here 324 times 0 is 0 and 324 times 1 is 324 so this will become 4 2 3 plus now let's multiply 324 with 8 so 8 times 4 is 32 so 2 3 will be carried 8 times 2 is 16 16 plus 3 is 19 so 9 will be carried 8 times 3 is 24 so 24 plus 1 is 25 so this will become 2 5 2592 now let us add these two numbers so we will start from the ones position so 2 plus 0 is 2 9 plus 4 is 13 so 3 one will be carried here so 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 comma 3 plus 2 is 5 so here the addition of these two numbers goes in 5832 now what we will do here here we will replace 18 cube and 18 square with its values so here the value of 18 cube is 5832 so this will become 5800 32 whole square minus now the value of 18 square is 324 so this will become 324 whole square now here we will use another algebraic identity a square minus b square identity so here we will use this one identity a square minus b square we can write a square minus b square as a minus b times a plus b so here the value of a is this number and the value of b is this number so using this identity here 
this equation will become this implies a minus b so a is 5832 minus b is 324 times a plus b now a is 5832 plus b is 324 now let us subtract and add these two numbers so this will become here the subtraction of these two numbers gives him 5508 and the addition of these two numbers gives him 4 plus 2 is 6 2 plus 3 is 5 3 plus 8 is 11 so 1 1 will become here 5 plus 1 is 6 so the addition of these two numbers gives him 6156 so here we will try to multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without drop work so how can you multiply these numbers so for that we will change this number to the sum of 5000 plus 500 plus 8 and this one number will be the same 6156 now here we will multiply this number first with this one number 5000 then with 500 and then with 8 so let's do this multiplication here so this will become this will become 5000 times 6156 plus 500 times this number 6156 plus 8 times this number 6156 now let's do these multiplications so this will become here this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 5 is 5 times 6 is 30 so 0 3 will be carried 5 times 5 is 25 25 plus 3 is 28 so 8 2 will be carried 5 times 1 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 comma and 5 times 6 is 30 so this will become 30 million 700 and 80,000 plus now just multiply these two numbers so again this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 5 is 30,780 so we will replace 6 times this number is with these 5 digits so this will become 0 8 7 0 and 3 so here the product of these two numbers gives him 3 million so would add thousand plus let's multiply these two numbers so this will become here 8 times 6 is 48 so this will become 8 4 will be carried 8 times 5 is 40 40 plus 4 is 44 so 4 4 will be carried 8 times 1 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried 8 times 6 is 48 48 plus 1 is 49 so here the product of these numbers gives him 49,248. Now let's add these three numbers. So to add these three numbers, we will start from the ones position and then we go to the left hand side. Then we will add the tens place value, then hundreds, thousand and so on. So let's add the digits at ones position. So here 8 plus 0 plus 0 is 8. No, 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2 comma no 9 plus 8 is 17 17 plus 0 is 17 so 7 1 will be carried to the next digit 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 7 is 12 12 plus 8 is 20 so 0 2 will be carried to the next number the next number is 0 so 0 plus 2 is 2 2 plus 7 is 9 comma 3 plus 0 is 3 and this one 3 so this gives him 33 million 907,248 so finally 33 million 907,248 is our answer and value of this nice and interesting simplification math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching